Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to add tracks in Cubase 13. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish up your skills, this video will cover everything you need to know about adding tracks. But before we dive into the video, I need you to like, share and subscribe to this channel. It goes a long way supporting this channel and helping others find this channel. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also um, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the video. All right, so now we are in Cubase and I want to show you how you can add a track in Cubase 13. First of all, let's get rid of the mixer view. So if you want to add an audio track, I'm going to teach you how to add several tracks like an audio track, MIDI track, instrument track, folder track, group tracks, and also FX tracks. So if you want to add an audio track in Cubase, there are several ways you can do that. You can do that by heading to project on the top menu here and go to add track, locate audio, and a dialogue is going to pop up. And then you see audio input, you select your audio input configuration, whether you want to leave it on mono or stereo, you do that. And then your output, you leave it on stereo and then you name your track. So let's say we are going to name our track guitar and we click add track, but also you see count. It gives you the opportunity to add a whole lot of um, tracks. So if you want to add two tracks, 10 tracks, 15 tracks, you can just type that or, um, you know, move that here to the preferred number you want and click on add track and you have your track added here in Cubase. There is another way to add an audio track. You can just right click on your mouse. You see add audio track and then you have the chance. The same dialog pops up and you add your track by that. Another third way of doing that is to hit a key shortcut T on your keyboard and you see a different kind of uh, window or dialogue which says audio instrument sampler midi you go in for audio you select audio so we have a lot of um options here we are going to dive into that um later but for now we are focusing on adding an audio track so you go to audio inputs you select your input whether it's coming from a keyboard or your audio interface you select that configuration uh, more more times if you are recording a vocal i would recommend that you'd leave it on mono but for now you're going to leave it on stereo audio out output we'll leave it on our main stereo output you name the track so we are going to name this track vocal and we click on add track and our track has been added in cubase so these are three different ways you can add a track in cubase now let's look at how to add an instrument track in cubase you can use the same approach by going to project go to add track and then you locate instrument track and here you have the chance to select the vst track you want to use um, for your instrument. Uh, so let's say, um, let me pick one instrument. Let me pick one that can load faster. Let me go in for this. All right. Uh, no MIDI input connected. I think I have my MIDI. Select my MIDI and then I'm going to name it Loop Track because that's the name of the plugin Loop Track. And then I click add track and it's going to load the instrument and add it. Yeah, so that's the instrument. I am not done installing the software, so uh, probably I won't get a chance to um, use it. All right. Another way you can do this is to um, right click and then select add instrument track. And then you can use the same um procedure as the other one and then the third way is to also use a key shortcut t and then you select instrument track from this side and you name your track you configure whether you want it to 
um, be a stereo output or whatever it is you add your track and you are good to go so um, one thing too is if you add a track and you want to undo that you want to undo adding the track all you have to do is to um, do control Z or control Z and it will undo it it will um, automatically take off the track that you just um, added now let's look at how we can add an effect track we go to project you go to add track and then you see fx that is effect you click on it and then you select an effect that you want to use so let's go in for an eq let's say i'm going in for pro q3 yep and then um i name it eq it can be reverb it can be whatever you whatever plugin you are loading and folder setup i like to keep all my effect track in a folder so that i can you know control them maybe mute them or something if i have to do something and then configuration is going to be on stereo audio output is going to be on stereo out and then i click add track and automatically it's going to add my effect track so that is how you add an effect track in cubase now let's look at how you can create folder tracks in cubase so let's say you have drums and you want to have access uh, you want to be able to process your drums the same way maybe you want to be able to cut or group edit yeah that's the word group edit folder tracks can come in handy so it's also the same approach add track and then you scroll down you see folder and then you can create a folder track you just have to name the folder track so let's say in this case if we have drums i am going to name it drums and it's going to create that and if i have drum tracks here i'm just going to click and drag that into the folder and i'll have the chance to color or to do whatever i want to do um with it which is a very good um um um, um technique or way of working workflow way of working in in cubase I love folder tracks i use them a lot now the last thing we are going to look at is how to add a group track group tracks are same as what you call buses in other doors that is grouping all your tracks into one fader or into one channel where you can process all of them together when we say a bus a bus is like you carrying a bunch of students and putting them in a in a bus so that you can control them so that you can have all of them at one place and do whatever you want to do with that that is how it it it, it is that is a simple way of understanding a bus is putting all your tracks into one channel so that you can add eq you can add compression and all that to them so a way you can do that is to right click and then you click on add group track and a group tracks are always stereo i always leave my group tracks on stereo audio output stereo and then folder setup i go for create outside folder i don't do inside folders for group tracks when i'm using qbs and then i name this drum bass so this would be our drum bass where we are going to add or process all our drums in this bass or drum group so i'm going to send my kick or the shells of the the shells of the kit or the shells of the drum that's the kick the snare and the toms i'm going to route all of them into this bass so that i can add parallel compression so that i can do whatever i want to do with this saturation whatever i want to do with it so that is um why we use group tracks or this is how you can create group tracks in cubase so in creating all tracks in cubase 
it's very easy and there is a simple way to go about it is that you use a key shortcut you, you you hit t the letter t on your keyboard and then you can select whether you want to create an audio track instrument track sampler track midi track group track effects track vca marker track ruler folder and many more all right so whatever you want to do this is a faster way of doing that you just select name your track configure it click ok and your track will be added to cubase guys i hope you found this video helpful if you do kindly give us a thumbs up and please share this video with your friends and also let other people know about this channel and if you want me to also talk about anything music production in our next video kindly let me know in the comment sessions and don't forget please guys don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel it really helps and supports the channel thank you and see you in the next video bye